Hi everyone. My name is Mohamed Kamaldin Fuseni. I go with the username DN Shitobu. And I'll be co-presenting this with Goodness. Would you want to introduce yourself? Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Goodness Ignatius. And I I'm from Nigeria and a member of the Ebo Comedians User Group. Thank you. All right, today we're going to be talking about um, engaging with uh, underrepresented languages or underrepresented communities. And a lot of us have heard of this term and would be wondering what it is. And we'll just delve into that right away. So when we say um, underrepresented languages, we're talking about languages um, that are not widely spoken or studied as compared to other dominant languages. Um, for instance, if we are looking at Dagbani and also yeah. English language or Igbo language against English language, you will find that there's a huge gap when it comes to the, uh, the commonness of these languages. Again, we also have indigenous languages uh, that are languages spoken by indigenous people um, who are original inhabitants of a particular regional country. Most of the languages in Africa and across the globe, except the popular ones that we know, um, they are just spoken by indigenous people. Um, those people are not wide, so widespread. They are usually found in a particular uh, community or town or city or in a particular region or geographical zone. Then uh, the lowest in all, uh, that is also very marginal and also always at the point of going into extinction are the minor minority languages. And they are the languages spoken by a minority group within a larger society. More often than not, we find these minority languages um, living their own language and speaking the languages they are surrounded with. Uh, most of African languages fall victim of this particular challenge. All right, goodness. All right, uh, and it's very important to engage with underrepresented languages because it promotes cultural diversity and preservation. It also promotes linguistic diversity. We have um, so many languages, so many people from diverse languages um, getting or, 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 or communicating via different languages. It also promotes communication. It promotes um, equity and inclusion. It encourages equity and inclusion. You know, languages is one of the, 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 the diverse um, thing about culture. So it promotes equity and in inclusion. If someone understands or if someone gets information in his or her own language, the person understands it, he or she or they understand it better and it gives the person a sense of inclusion. It also promotes knowledge and it bridges gaps. Like we find out that most times when um, information is passed in maybe official languages, those that do not really understand these languages will not understand the information that is passed across. So local language, indigenous language promotes, um, it bridges gaps. So now wider people are reached more uh, uh, um, information is passed to a global body. Thank you. Next slide. Yeah, so why is this thing important to all of us? It's important because uh, Wikimedia Foundation has given us the platform to digitize these indigenous languages, these minority languages, and all these underrepresented languages. But how do we engage with these communities to ensure that the languages they speak are actually documented based on just the way um, we want them to be documented? So that someday, somehow, even copless, seamstress, tailors, name whatever profession that we have in the world, people would be able to learn all these trade or um, handicrafts in their own in their own local language. Someone should not be left behind just because he's not able to speak a particular language. So in an attempt to engage um, with these communities, uh, we usually collaborate with the community organizers. So for example, um, 
We are from the Dagbana Wikimedia Initial Group and the Igbo Wikimedia Initial Group. So we get to connect with um, members from these communities, these indigenous communities. There are a lot of people who don't even know that um, Wikipedia exists. Some of them know they exist, but they don't know that they can also contribute onto Wikipedia and its sister projects. Other people know it exists and they don't even know um, they can contribute in their own language. And in doing this, we try to address the language and technical barriers they face. And because in Africa, especially Ghana and Nigeria, we are faced with a lot of um, internet issues. Internet service providers have made it so difficult for us to get uh, internet connection because of high cost of data and also because of the sort of IP addresses they give to our devices. When we go online, especially on Wikipedia, we have all these uh, IP blocks because on Wikipedia and in the online space, we are seen as like the same person coming from different um, devices because there's always one gateway through a particular router. And so we try to provide um, technical support or technical, uh, yeah, technical support for our communities. Again, we provide training and resources thanks to Wikimedia Foundation for supporting us with um, funding and logistics to be able to organize editathons and other programs uh, that would help communities document their full culture, uh, their cultural heritage, and all the rich information they have about themselves that someone else would have written about them. We again also try to provide technology solution and by so doing, we try to help them come up with um, translation softwares or translated versions of very useful softwares. Goodness. All right, thank you. Okay, there are challenges faced by speakers of underrepresented languages, amongst which are the lack of awareness. The lack of awareness in terms of not knowing that this language is going extinct and is underrepresented. No, knowing the technical know-how of how or ways to contribute to open access um, platforms. These are one of uh, this is one of the challenge. Then access to technology, internet connectivity, and digital literacy. In this part of the world, the internet connection is um, is not really so favorable so we see that people in 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 rural areas are always uh, um, challenged with internet connectivity and even access to technology how to use these um, technological tools and having time to dedicate to wikimedia project we are all volunteers and when we talk about uh, um, um, bridging um, language gaps or, or or engaging with underrepresented languages um, these um, experts in these languages or the natives in these languages have other things to do. So the availability of these um, natives would would be a challenge when um, things like outreach and community calls and different things come to come up for um, engagement. Then low levels of literacy. Yeah, we found out that most natives. You know, most natives in rural areas would have would need a certain level of literacy to 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 communicate properly, to contribute. You know, if that level of literacy is not available, then it would um, be a challenge to engage with these um, natives or the people in rural or urban areas that um, uh, that has uh, or that speak a particular language. Then we have sustainability, which is always um, uh, a big challenge when 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 these um, um, maybe initiatives is not sustained, when it's, it's not um, done regularly, there's always a challenge of people not um, improving or forgetting what they've done or even um, not carrying on with what they've learned learned in the past. Yes, we are trying to engage with underrepresented languages. We are trying to bridge the gaps. Sustainability is a key factor. We do it repeatedly. We make sure we get to diverse locations, diverse people, diverse um, languages. 
we engage them, we continue the process. It's a continue, it's a continuous process. Information and learning continues. So when these, um, when it continues, then there should be a process that also um, engages these um, underrepresented um, speakers continuously. Thank you. Next slide. Now, we're going to be looking at some of the um, initiatives that small wikis or underrepresented communities have come up with. Um, we have a lot of them. This doesn't represent the totality of all the initiatives they have come with, but we've just sampled some of these. We have the Wikipedia language diversity. Um, we also have the Afro sports that people get to write about footballers or people in uh, the area of soccer and sports in, in general. We also have the indigenous language project where people uh, do the 100 words challenge. We also have Wikilabs Women where people try to document um, information about women on so on small language Wikipedia, like the one Wikipedia, Gurne Wikipedia, Ibo Wikipedia, and other uh, language Wikipedia platforms. We will call it have the Wikipedia ACM month that is celebrated across Africa and uh, across the globe. That the Dagbane Wikipedia Saha is also another initiative where um, people, the Dagbane Wikimedia Initiative Group, try to use digital media, uh, just pub uh, public digital media to teach people about Wikipedia. Um, they've also come up with natural language processing projects where Wikimedians use the data collected on Wikipedia or the articles created on Wikipedia to be able to um, to work with natural language processing experts to train ASR models for AI to be able to translate from English or popular languages to underrepresented languages. Again, most of the underrepresented communities participate in programs like the Wikilabs campaign, including the Wikipedia the Wikilabs Folklore, Wikilabs Earth, Wikilabs Monument, Wikilabs Africa, and Wikigap. All these Wikilabs campaigns uh, help in promoting and also archiving um, indigenous content on Wikimedia Commons, including media files, pictures, videos, audios, name them, just so that people can have a better representation of their culture online and in the digital space. There's also the Wiki Let's Go Graphical Data, where some communities, uh, I know of Igbo, I know of Dagbani, I know of the Yap language. Um, there are a lot of languages that are currently being experimented with the Wikidata Let's Go Graphical Data, trying to make uh, Wikidata um, more interoperable when it comes to Wiktionary, such that when you enter one word in a particular language, you will seamlessly be able to get the translation of that in as many languages uh, as is, as they are supported by Wikipedia projects. Thank you. Goodness. Okay. To um, oh, thank you, Diane. To engage with uh, underrepresented communities or languages, there are community-led efforts under the Wikimedia Foundation that um, communities engage in, which some of them are um, Wikimedia editatons, photo walks, um, community engagement activities like the monthly meetings, um, office hours, working hours, um, translation initiatives, outreaches and campaigns. Then we have the um, collaboration. There are numerous collaborations and partnerships under the Wikimedia Foundation, like the Africa No Filter, Africa Knowledge Initiative, and so many others. Then we also um, celebrate days, the, 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 the days where days like the Wangari Mansai, the AU Day, the Nelson Mandela Day, the Women's Day, um, different um, days that um, we that encourage this community to bring in their uh, expertise, their languages, you know, 
to bring in their their community members to contribute to these Wikimedia projects. Thank you. Next slide. Yeah, so in conclusion, we are calling on everyone um, to come join, let's promote these indigenous languages because when we promote them, we are going to make the digital space more inclusive. We are going to reduce the language barrier that we all face. We are going to get more people feel respected. There will be equity. Um, people would get to innovate in their own language. Imagine if the whole world had a part, had a unique language, or if we could just liaise on technology to be able to translate everything from one language to, to the other across the globe. Look at the kind of innovation that would have been getting. People have a lot of innovation, uh, but they just lack information. And once they get the information, they will be able to come up with better ideas. And once they have the better ideas, the world is not going to be the same. So thanks to um, Wikimedia projects, it has come to stay and we call on all languages across the globe to rise up and join the wagon whilst the iron is still hot. If your language is currently not digitized, this is the right time for you to liaise on Wikipedia. The starting point is Translate Wiki. Thank you so much for the audience. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via our email or via our talk pages. And we are really grateful for the audience. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.